uh, and I know that uh, you know there's a lot of interest at this <laughs> point in time, especially when we talk about uh, you know it, uh, what's happening in China, and then of course the, the manufacturing uh, destinations that the world is looking at at this point in time. Uh, one of the fastest growing large economies today. What's the mood like on India? You know, I remember when you and I spoke uh, back in May, and we were, uh, you know, we were bullish in India, and we frankly continue to be bullish. You know, in a in a world that uh, the clarity of the West versus Russia, and the West, let's say the West developed Western economies versus China, has gotten clear. Whatever you call it, you know, rivalry. Um, India has stayed in a great position. You know, it, its demographics, uh, it's inherently attractive. It's got a great local market. You're one of the countries in the world that still have reasonable population growth, you know, an emerging middle class. And for everybody who's thinking about where should I invest, you know, it's now the largest country in the world, um, and is able to, uh, to operate in a world of Russia and China as an attractive place. Um, India is a bright spot for most companies uh, thinking about um, not just a place to invest mm -hmm. for the cu cu customer base, a place to invest for supply chain, for manufacturing, for technology. You know, uh, India is now the third largest source of um, AI talent in the world. You know, the, the rapid um, evolution of um, knowledge workers in India from call centers a decade ago to now machine learning and artificial intelligence. It's just lots of goodness about uh, about India from a global from a global prioritization standpoint. Well, that's good to hear. 